all right what is going on everybody uh welcome to the heaven today we're going to be talking about the two characters that in my opinion pretty much broke the entire online beta johnny cage and kenji now i'm gonna leave it up to y'all in the comments um to decide who between the two you think is better and more broken but i pretty much just have a couple things that i thought about when i was laying down that i really think make these characters broken and what makes them good pretty much so i have some pros and some cons uh, between the two uh and we're just gonna see you know what what all we think about them what with all these notes that i have so first starting off with johnny cage johnny cage has four meterless launchers in any game that is not really normal i, I won't that's i don't even think that's normal in mkx for for many characters johnny cage has four meterless launchers him having four of them without having to do anything with meter um or cameos even and him being able to get a launcher off of four different attacks is actually insane i don't know why they did that i don't know why they thought it was a good idea but it's johnny cage so maybe that maybe that's why anyways moving on to the next um to the next one i pretty much covered the the two technically two or three of them are safe the other one four one two four is not but you know you get the point um his pressure johnny's pressure in this game is insanely crazy now I really think that once the game fully comes out and people start to learn more about flawless blocking and everything that you can do with Johnny's uh, strings against uh, multiple characters and, you know, people that might have broken down threes or down fours like Cetrion in the previous game, Johnny's pressure might not be as good as it is in this beta or was in this beta. I'm recording this a, a while after the beta, like a week or so. A lot of his stuff is safe on, on shield or on block. So that's one thing you have to worry about. Now, that does add a mix up to what Johnny can do. If you do not have a mid to to try to put your pressure back to Johnny, he can neutral duck you and punish you with two on two or just about anything he wants to. And then we all know how much damage that leads into leading into the next thing, how much damage Johnny can get. Johnny can literally get 35 to 40 percent to 50 percent with one bar, two cameo slots, one cameo slot. Johnny dishes out damage no matter what. It is, it's damn near impossible to not win the game in less than four interactions if you're playing Johnny Cage. He is just that good. When it comes to damage, he is the king of it currently at the moment. Obviously, with his Kano, um, or with his cameo, Kano is what most people would use. That's where you're going to get most of the damage. Nut Punch is just extremely good, uh, plus the Knife Toss, so... I mean, it just leads into so much damage. Speaking of more damage, you lead into the hype meter. That's going to be the next thing we're going to talk about. Hype meter being probably his best mechanic he's ever had. Comparing that to, you know, what he had is in uh, MKX where like he gets below 5%. He gets he gets stronger. His moves get stronger. Hype meter blows that out of the water, in my opinion. Like it, it literally makes him the stupidest he's ever been. I don't think this is the most broken variant of Johnny that we've seen or this is not the broken the most broken Johnny has ever been I think that would honestly be mk9 simply because mk9 was just a broken ass game we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna lie about that Johnny was definitely broken in this game but I, I there is a lot of things in this game that make him similar to mk9 his 4-3 being extremely good on block the pressure once again the damage he has a lot more damage than he did in mk9 in this game so I mean you know it is what it is but the hype meter pretty much just makes that even even more of a problem uh, he gets he gets to do multiple special moves on on block um on hit he just if you're not ready for him to do two nut punches in one sequence you're gonna get hit by the nut punch and then it's going to lead into more damage, 50% even. So, you know, hype meter is definitely stupid. His wake up options, he has technically two of them. Shadow kick is going to be the main one, but people did find out that nut punch is invincible on wake up. So what you can do with Johnny, technically that gives him a meter, um, a, an armored wake up option that is a launcher. Meaning if you have a cameo that can stun you after you get hit by the nut punch, then it leads into a bunch of damage. So what people were doing was you wake up with invincible nut punch, calling Kano as soon as you do, and then boom, 40%. Right off of getting off of the ground for a defensive option. So invincible nut punch is very good. You can also use it in the middle of strings, call your cameo in, you know, in the middle of uh, a string that you're getting hit on. So if it's if the string has a gap, you can do nut punch, calling Kano, and then boom, 30, 40%. Johnny having a parry in this game also makes him kind of stupid. Now, this is one thing that I did not see a lot of usage with, or a lot of usage of in the, in the beta. Now, I don't know if that's because people just forgot about it. Me included, I always forget that my characters have parry sometimes, so I just don't use them. But a lot of people that I've been seeing play Johnny didn't really use the parry. Um, now, his parry isn't one of the traditional parries where you, you know, you get the parry and then you get damage. But once his parry gets, once you hit his parry, he immediately shadow dashes. So that gives him the opportunity 
to get more damage um, than just what a normal traditional parry would give you. Say, for instance, like Robocop in the previous game, um, he would hit you with a parry and then he just does the move. You can't do anything else after it. It's That's how the parry works. Johnny having a different type of parry, if you do a very unsafe move and you get caught or you activate his parry, he gets to shadow dash and then dash back at you and then be it. he's able to dish out however much damage he wants to. You gotta be careful when you're trying to pressure Johnny as well. Now, he can't do this parry on wake up. He might be able to, but I don't think it's gonna be viable. Honestly, nut punch is gonna be better than it, but it's it's an option, so you have to worry about it. That's one thing that you don't wanna have to worry about is getting reversed by Johnny Cage because once again, 40%. Moving on to his fatal blow. Um, His fatal blow acting the exact same way as it did in MK9, it is a parry as well. You can dash cancel out of the uh, out of the fatal blow. So, you know, you activate the, the fatal blow and he's gonna be doing a little dancey dance. And if you hit him, obviously it will con it will activate the parry again, Um, except obviously it will be the fatal blow this time. You can jump behind him and punch him from behind and you can punish the, the fatal blow. Once you hold it to a uh, the full amount out, I believe it becomes unblocked. Well, I am not 100% on this, but I was playing against somebody and I don't think they knew what the fatal blow could do. So it was, I held it the entire time and they were still blocking. They got hit. So I think it's unblockable. So let me know in the comments if I am incorrect on that, but I'm pretty sure it's unblockable. And then the shadow dash movement, we'll move on to that next. So um, if you did not see the breakdown or any gameplay of sh uh, Johnny Cage, he does have a shadow dash. Now this is very important. Um, and it was even more important before they buffed the uh, movement in this game. There was no wave dashing or block dance block dashing um in the game when they implemented this and showed it to us all the other characters that were already in the game were slow obviously because the movement was just slow in the game in general when they implement when they showed us that johnny had a shadow dash to be able to move faster and faster normally than all the other characters because they don't have this move it was probably going to be game uh game breaking now that everybody has a, a form of wave dashing or block dashing i really don't think it matters all too much johnny is invulnerable in this whenever he's doing the shadow dash so it's not really like he can get through projection I was like smokes uh, face, face through, but it can close gaps. So if your opponent is zoning out, opponent's not very good at wave dashing or block dashing. They can use the shadow dash. So it gives Johnny an extra form or extra uh, extra layer of movement that, you know, you don't have to be good to do. You just input the... um the input so you know that's something else that johnny has another thing is johnny has a lot of safe string the only unsafe string i think johnny has is forward one two four which is that meterless launcher i was talking about um he might have another one i'm not sure about but he is plus on like two or three things in his entire move list uh that's that's string so stand two is plus four one one i believe on block is maybe plus two i could be wrong four four that one does have a gap so you can poke out of it i think that was plus 14 or 15 or seven just muted my mic i cannot remember the exact number but i know it is like plus 14 or more that being said once johnny gets you into the corner and you do not know how to deal with pressure you are not getting out of the corner you're gonna leave earth you're just dead you know seeing what we have seen like ninja killer sonic fox uh combat all these people that play johnny and have are, are professionals at playing the video game known as mortal Kombat. it's looking like it's looking like it's gonna be a, a a hard time to deal with johnny so i mean going through all of his his pros that he has he definitely has a lot of them you know i, I there's probably gonna be more later later down the future there might even be less but let's go ahead and move to his cons so his cons things that are not really good about johnny that can be um you know abused a little bit he does have high starters on most of his strings just if not all of them uh stand one is a high stand two is a high forward one is a high the only mid that he has has is 4-3. 4-3 being an extremely good move. It is something that you will have to worry about if you are thinking that Johnny is going to use a mid because it is the only one that he has. So if you are able, if in a Johnny mirror, for instance, if Johnny does 2-1-2 on your uh, on your uh, on your shield while you're blocking, highly likely if they do try to press a button, it's going to be down one to try to keep you from pressing anything. But if you are a Johnny and you go up against a Johnny doing 2-1-2, you can just neutral duck and pray that he doesn't do four three after that because if you if you if he does two and two to try to punish your two and two all you gotta do is neutral duck and then you can punish with your own two and two again so i mean it, uh johnny having high starters that's never really a good thing and that's always been the thing for johnny he, he's always pretty much had high starters and previous game mk11 um if you really knew how to fight johnny you could really beat the shit out of him it wasn't necessarily too hard he was a great character i'm not downplaying him at all johnny does not have that good of range either now forward one is a good whiff punishing tool four three actually is goes a quite a bit not not too far but it, it closes the gap just a little bit not not something you know crazy like a 4-3 in the previous game but it, it gives it doesn't give him as much range as 
he did in, in the last game. So I'm glad they didn't do that because if he had a lot of range, this character would be easily top one. No, no doubt about it. Maybe even when the full game releases. But you know, his his range is not all that good. So that is something that you can abuse. You can try to keep him out if you have a, a long enough tool or long enough buttons to um to keep him away from you. And you know, then he'll have to start using his cameos to try to get in. Um, and then that you know that lessens his damage a little bit because he can't use them twice in a combo or once in a combo but you know that's still a lot of damage that he can get from it so try to keep johnny out whenever you're fighting against him because he doesn't have the best buttons to try to get in you know aside from forward one and four three so um that pretty much covered the getting in uh, part of it as well now his pokes are honestly not all that crazy either his his down one is pretty good if you see the johnny cage is mashing down three a lot just bait it out wait for him to do it um and then you can either jump over it he does have some pretty good anti-airs though i forgot to mention that um you can either jump over it or try to whiff punish it he does go pretty low to the ground whenever he is doing down three though so uh, same thing with down four as well but i really don't feel like they're all the, the best of pokes now pokes in this game were not made to be the best anymore um i'm so glad that they did that people can still find their ways to mash but you know it's a lot it's a lot harder than what they what they were used to doing so uh leading on to the last thing about johnny um he does not have any projectiles anymore he does not have his green glow his red glow he doesn't have anything of the sort. He's he's only got the shadows on his uh, on his moves now. So that being said, he does not have any projectiles. So you're gonna have to use cameos to once once again get in. Um, and you can pretty much try to zone Johnny the best that you can because his shadow dash isn't projectile invulnerable. Always gonna be vulnerable when he is doing the projectile uh, or when he's doing the shadow dash. So if you throw a projectile at him and he tries to shadow dash through it, he's gonna get caught. So that is pretty much Johnny Cage. Now, in my opinion, I would rank Johnny. I, I wouldn't say he's a perfect character because he obviously has some cons. Um, but I would easily say he is a 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. In my opinion, I would think he's a 9 out of 10. Especially from what we've seen, the pros doing, you, you get one touch and you don't have your breaker or your cameo, you're eating so much damage. And like I said before, all he needs is 3 to 4 interactions and the round could possibly be over. You gotta have your breaker. You get breaker quickly in this game, but sometimes it just doesn't matter because he's doing so much damage anyways. It, it, it just doesn't matter. But either way, um, moving on to Kenshi. Now, we're gonna be talking about Kenshi. So, I'll just show everything because uh, there's not really much about Kenshi that is bad so I'll, I'll just start with obviously what he has um in his pros his good things about him meterless damage is insane when the stress test first came out Sonic Fox was doing some of the craziest stuff possible and I'll have some of his stuff or some of their stuff on screen here hopefully I don't get sued or anything for it but I wanted to show the best representation of this character so far to you know just compare meterless damage is insane with this character um he doesn't have to have Sento out to do good damage he's obviously not going to do the most without Sento but Sento is pretty much what breaks this character so leading on into that Sento stance when this when Sinto comes out it is like an entire game just just got thrown away mk1 got thrown away and they brought in another game and they named it kenshi and Sinto. it's like you don't have an ability to play the game pressure that this character can dish out with Sinto, the damage that he can dish out with Sinto, it's literally game breaking and they nerfed it i believe supposedly they did nerf it now from what i've noticed from the stress tests uh comparing it to the online beta is whenever you pull out Sinto, i can't remember if this is how it was in the stress test i don't believe it was but when you pull out Sinto, it will pretty much reset the uh cameo meter and it will use all of your cameo meter um when you re recall Sento, it will just reset it again so it's pretty much um that's how you tell how long Sento has you can recall him to make him last a little bit longer by exing the move you know either way Sento pretty much breaks the game and it breaks that character kenshi so another thing that he has is insane um, uh, insane amounts of zoning so he's got a couple of tools that he can use to zone out with or to keep you away and they're all pretty good so you got to be careful with force push you have the uh the demon coming from the top the overhead i think there's another one that i'm forgetting right now i cannot think of it but those are the main two e anyways so one thing that i I have noticed a lot of me playing and watching people play when Sinto or when Kenshi knocks you down and they do the demon overhead you cannot dash on wake up if you dash on wake up it will hit you no matter what as long as the Kenshi times are right of course when you get knocked down normally you want to try to get in as quickly as possible so your first option if you're far away uh if you're full screen is to wake up and dash that is another extra damage that you're getting hit by and I've seen people get hit by it four or five times in a row thinking they just can dash through it cannot so that's one thing you have to be careful with from the overhead demon is is whenever you are getting uh off the ground you cannot dash you gotta hold that at least for that one time that he throws it out another thing kenshi has is great range i mean he's got a sword he's got two of them technically with sento so he's got he's got great pokes with his range the sword uh, he's got great whiff punishing his sweep is insanely good he's got insane mix-ups as well he's got the overhead um once you learn how to use sento with these mix-ups it becomes even stupider you got the overhead that can lead into insane amounts of damage from sento you got the low as well you got the grass 
grab and then you have the uh, the amazing amount of pressure that Sinto can dish out it's it's like not being able to play the game times 10 whenever whenever Sinto is out and you are sandwiched in between him even if you're not sandwiched in between them you are going to take so much chip damage if you do not know how to get out of it now there is a gap that you can break um and i believe it's the second hit of the 422 um that kenshi does that so you can actually armor through that and you know get him off of you but still if you don't know how to do that you're eating a lot of chip percentage so that is one thing that everybody that if you're playing against a good kenshi you will have to know the gaps and you will have to know how to get out of that pressure unless they just nerf it completely to the ground which they probably won't do it's one thing you got to worry about so um with that being said the the only thing that i can really depict out of kenshi having some bad in him are the strings that have gaps in them. that's really the only thing i can think of i don't know i think he has everything else in his toolkit to deal with every character in the game so far even the characters that we've seen and haven't touched yet or been able to to see like professionally played i really think kenshi is going to be one of the best characters in the game i think he'll probably always be top five if not top five maybe top 10 um currently right now i think he is either top one or two um once again i'm gonna let you guys decide on that you know with that all that being said what do you guys think do you think johnny is more broken do you think kenshi's more broken when you think about it kenshi has less cons he's only got one johnny in my opinion these are the the five that i've been able to depict out from him i still feel like johnny might be even more broken now in the right hands you didn't really see a lot of kenshi so that could be another thing We've only seen really like sonics titanium tigers uh scar we really don't know who could be the most broken in my opinion i think it might just be johnny he, he just dishes out way too much damage he doesn't even need a cameo to dish out like 30 or 40 percent well kind of but you know not really 30 30 percent plus it, it, he, he can do that easily um which you know same thing can be said about kenshi but um let me let me know what you guys think about this in the comments let me know if you guys want me to compare to compare some more characters maybe lee may sub or katana um whenever the game comes out fully releases let me know if you guys want to see some more of these um first time i'm doing this i just had an idea when i was laying in bed with all that being said i appreciate you guys watching this video um, be sure to subscribe for some more mk1 content we're gonna be dropping it pretty much as much as possible um until the beta until the full game releases and as soon as that game releases i am not dropping i'm not gonna stop dropping mk1 content until the game is done for so i appreciate you guys for watching this video um hope all y'all have a great day great night great morning whatever time it is you are watching this and uh peace out <laughs>